I can't believe I subjected myself to this. I must either just be a glutton for punishment or I've got a torture fetish. The casting announcements and trailers for The Little Mermaid weren't exactly reviewed warmly. <laughs> and then the reveals of what the actual characters would look like. We all made assumptions about what this film would be and I am here, TSM, to confirm to you, it's shit. I honestly don't even know where to start with this. Alright, the runtime. This movie is over two hours long. Compare that to the original 1989 movie, which clocks in at just under an hour and a half. The original feels so much more concise and better paced. The remake just feels bloated and scenes are running way too long. I found myself checking my watch multiple times. Time is taken up by unneeded establishing shots and new songs, which we'll get into in a bit. I heard from a few who had already seen this film prior to release that kids were fidgeting and complaining that they were bored with this movie between the 70 and 80 minute mark. It happened at the screening I was in after half an hour. Disney has clearly forgotten what is needed to keep children's attention. This movie is so fucking dark. Rob Marshall must be a big fan of Game of Thrones because you can't see shit for most of it. It's also used to hide how bad the CGI in this movie is. Nothing looks believable under the sea in this film. Don't even get me started on the final sequence with Ursula going big. There is little to no vibrance to keep hold of older or younger viewers alike. The acting range for the most part in this movie ranges from passable to awful. I feel like no one in particular gave a brilliant performance. I'll go into one particular character in a bit. The voice talent was woeful, annoying and holding none of the talent of the original voice actors. Multiple instances of eye rolling and tutting from yours truly. Sebastian's actor sounds like a generic white guy trying to pull off a Jamaican accent. Uh, fucking what's her name? Akin Fenwa. Scuttle is insufferable and Flounder has not enough screen time to even really make a comment on it. None of Triton's other daughters do anything, but I found it very funny how they're all different ethnicities yet all come from the same mother. Javier Bardem has little presence that the OG did. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula had a moment or two where I thought it was worth a damn, but aside from that, such little screen time and little to no character development leads her to also fall by the wayside. My boy Eric was done the most dirty. Probably my favourite performance in the movie, but they rob him of the one heroic moment that helped define him in the original. They just had to get that girl boss moment in there, didn't they? In the original, Prince Eric kills Ursula by steering the wrecked ship into Ursula using the spike to stab her. One man using nothing but bravery and skill to take down a sea witch to save a woman that he loves. Nah, Ariel kills her this time while Eric's caught in some fishing nets. Can't have a man saving a woman, can we? The message. Songs should be the bread and butter of what a Disney movie is, but they fumble that one too. All the songs from the original done for this movie sound like me on a karaoke night after three pints of Crack and Black Spiced. All the magic and meaning from the originals is lost, either through lackluster performances or additional lyrics added to be in keeping with a modern audience. Part of your world and Under the Sea being the biggest culprits of this. Sebastian's voice actor cannot sing and the actual scene just doesn't grip you like the original 89 film. Aquafina's rap is the most cringe-inducing thing in this movie. Ah, oh, it's the worst. I was cringing in my seat just begging for it to end. All the other songs, the new ones, are forgettable. I couldn't figure out why they were added. If I could credit one thing, it's that the sequence where Ursula's explaining the deal to Ariel in Poor Unfortunate Souls, they remove the part of men only being interested in women's bodies. That part always pissed me off. Ugh, okay. All reviews that I have seen, whether good or bad, have steered clear of one thing. Saying anything negative about Halle Bailey. No one is daring to say anything bad. I fucking will. There were only one or two moments where I could actually credit her performance. There's a dance sequence roughly halfway through the movie where she genuinely looks like she's having fun. There were a couple of moments where I thought, okay, she might actually be able to turn in a decent acting performance but it's overshadowed by everything else. Hayley, I'm sorry, but you're out of your depth on this one, love. The rest of your acting just didn't stand out in a good way, and a lot of your dialogue felt wooden and stiff. Your singing is good. 
it's clear you can hold a note when you want to, but you are doing too much with it. In all of your singing sequences, you are doing this thing with like a reverb in your voice and it's too much. Take a listen to the original songs and you can clearly hear Ariel's each, well, each of Ariel's notes and words, and actually no, not just in Ariel songs, every single song in this film does this. You're doing too much with your voice and it's like you're trying to show off. Sometimes less is more and it just needs to be simplified. <sighs> to round this out, I think it's clear I didn't like this movie very much. I believe all who are on the fence about seeing this movie, don't waste your hard earned money, don't waste your time. It, uh, it's the 1989 movie, but nearly an hour longer and it's just worse. It's shoddy and bland at best, with only one or two standout moments that made me smile or got a chuckle out of me. I grew up on Disney classics, including The Little Mermaid, and it pains me to see stories that helped define my childhood being butchered to try and make a quick buck. I honestly don't know where the budget for this movie went, and if the screening I was in is any indication, Disney is going to be struggling to make money back. It was empty. I am curious really curious how this is going to do at the box office because negative reviews i've already recorded i've already caught imdb and rotten tomatoes getting rid of negative reviews but let's be honest who's really surprised by that you want my advice buy the 1989 movie on blu-ray gather your family together watch it at home or wait for the remix release on disney plus it is not worth going to the movie theater to watch this is it you?